What is up YouTube? It is Drex and I am back with another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Saints Row. And all the reviews it has been getting, uh, you know, a lot of reviews has been getting, I guess, below average, average ratings and whatnot. And that kind of like, I don't know, I mean, in a lot of ways it makes me feel like, you know, why? I mean, the Saints Row games in general, like the original ones, were never really meant to be taken serious. Neither was Grand Theft Auto in the first place. The, you know, core value of those games was just to have fun and do ridiculous things in them. But, uh, to each his own. But what I love about gamers, well, I love the fact that gamers did this time around. And keep in mind, I haven't played the game yet. You know, I might get it later on. It's just so many damn games in my backlog I gotta play. Never was a big, really big Saints Row fan. You know, I liked the first two, and that was it. Those were kind of my favorite. But, you know, um, I like what a lot of gamers did. And, you know, it goes to show that a lot of people are getting tired of fake-ass hype in this community. I know I talk about that a lot on this channel, and I know I ranted about it several times. But what I actually like about it this time around is that gamers said, screw you to uh, Metacritic, you know, sources like Metacritic, IGN, and all those other places. And when it just purchased the game itself, excuse me. Like, when it purchased the game itself, you know, shout out to my guys, Jay Marley. You know, shout out to a few other cats that, you know, I picked that game up and played it, you know, and they're enjoying it and having fun. You know, that that's all that really matters. And that's what I was trying to get off um, on the last episode of the Legendary Duo podcast. Shout out to Legend 350. We were talking about the THQ uh, showcase, the THQ Nordic showcase. Like, you know, a lot of them weren't quote unquote AAA titles. But, you know, you saw a lot of games that were just there that looked, you know, pretty fun. And that's what games were, you know, really all, all about. Um, you know, I guess a lot of people were just complaining. You know, I guess a lot of these reviewers and influencers, and God, don't get me started, <laughs> were saying that there was a lot of bugs in the game and stuff. And, like, you know, this is normal at this point. I mean, all these games have bugs at launch i mean what, what the hell is the big deal about it i mean at this point i hate to say it you know no game i don't think any game is perfect that comes out at launch day one anymore um i, I guess it's gonna just kind of for me it's kind of normal that you're just gonna deal with bugs no matter what you know if it gets that bad just turn the damn game off and turn it back going away for a patch update but i mean you you're gonna be dealing with shit at launch so uh i don't know i'm not sure about it you know People who are enjoying the game, shout out to you guys, you know, for not listening to these stupid influencers and, you know, reviewers and stuff. No disrespect to Metacritic and IGN. This isn't me shutting them down, but I'm just simply saying, you know, good job on you making your own decision and make, calling your own shots. Because there's a lot of sheep in this community, a lot of people in this game community that listen to anybody that says stupid shit, that even, even trolls that just review bomb games at that. And I like the fact that, you know, hey, you know, we're going to just play the game, we're going to support the developer, we're going to enjoy it. If we don't like it, we'll return it. If we, you know, enjoy it, we're going to keep playing it. And, I mean, hell, it's not like it's a big deal. I mean, it's only $60, and if, it, if that concerns you so much, just get it, at, you know, get it on the sale or get it used, you know. We have many options. Gamers have many options today, and I don't think they realize it. And I think, I think part of the reason why a lot of us are like this in this community, well, I'm just going to say it. I think a lot of us are kind of spoiled. A lot of us are so used to wanting stuff done our way. And I think a lot of us, you know, tend to listen to influencers who probably don't really know their ass from a hole in the ground. And they just do this. They do this to get paid, you know, because this is their livelihood. I think, you know, we're so a lot of us are so hooked on that that we don't really see the true concept because people there's been crap there's been mid gay mediocre games i guess and crappy games and i enjoy mediocre games too and crappy games but there's been you know games like that for decades now and people have been buying them and playing them hell i know a lot of people there's a lot of shitty games i like that i still enjoy playing so you know I, the more i think about that the more i think about this game right here I don't know if too many people remember this. I mean, if you had a group in the 360 era, you know, shout out to you. But we we getting up there in age. I remember this came out here. And sorry if you guys hear uh, Discord in the background. I got it on my desktop. But, you know, I don't think too many of you guys remember this one. Crackdown. I remember a lot of people bitched about this game. It looks too cartoony. There's no storyline in it. And they're right. It was. <laughs> But I remember I paid the $60 for it, and I took it home, 
and I played the hell out of that mug. I played it so much that I think I had on my old account, I think I had over 100 hours of playtime, and it was mostly me playing it online co-op. Well, I care uh, with people online. We wasn't even really doing the. I think we even beat the whole game, and we were just still roaming around and playing through it, trying to unlock everything and just having fun and doing stupid, you know, doing crazy shit. So, point of uh, the point of this video is that I'm, I'm trying to get across is that play your games, enjoy your games. Don't let nobody make the decisions for you. Don't make, let nobody make the judgments for you. Hell, matter of fact, don't let nobody do that for you in general. Don't let nobody speak for you. Speak for your own self. Make your decisions for your own self. That's what this is about. I'm probably going to buy Saints Row later on, and I'm going to make my own judgments on it. But I'm going to say this now. IGN, Metacritic, none of these guys can't speak for me. I'm a customer just like them. Except I'm not getting paid for it. I'm working. I'm doing my own livelihood. I do my own thing. I work in IT. I'm an apartment manager. I'm, I'm just retired from being a landscaper now, finally. But the point is, I'm the consumer by the end of the day. And I make my own damn decisions. And I, how I want to spend my own damn money. No one else. And the same applies to you all. This is Matt Drex. And I am out. Peace.